What's up guys, Tian here. Welcome back to another video. Today, Apple released iOS 13 and iPadOS 13 developer beta 4 to registered developers. If you guys want to go ahead and get your hands on this, it's going to be inside of your settings if you have the developer profile on your device. If you guys are not on iOS 13 right now and you're interested, I will drop a link down below in the description so you guys can go ahead and update for yourself. So what I'm expecting from this update is a lot of bug fixes because beta 3 was just horrible. Well, at least for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install, see what's new, if there's any bug, and then we'll list all the new features and if iOS 13 beta 4 makes any differences at all. All right, so let's begin. All right, guys, so I'm now on iOS 13 beta 4. We can see here that the build number now ends in F instead of the letter G. Well, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and look at every single feature in the new developer beta. Welcome home, my old friend. 3D Touch is now back in iOS 13. With that said, it doesn't mean that Haptic Touch is gone. Haptic Touch is still there. When I was testing the feature out for myself, when I 3D Touch on applications, I get the same feedback that I always get in previous versions of iOS. And when I Haptic Touch, I still get the same delay. So all in favor of using 3D Touch, you can use it. All in favor of using Haptic Touch, go right ahead. But if you're on an iPhone XR or an iPhone SE, sucks to be you because 3D Touch is not there. When you 3D Touch, Haptic Touch or a long press on an app in iOS or iPadOS, the menu icons are now a lot smaller and there's an option here to rearrange your app icons. In messages, there's a redesign voice message icon. What I found is that with dark mode enabled inside of messages, it's a lot easier to spot. You guys can be the judge of that. There was a new vulnerability discovered in iOS 13 beta 3 that allowed anyone to have unauthorized access to all your saved website passwords inside of your setting. They didn't even need to use Face ID or Touch ID. I'm happy to say that that vulnerability has now been patched. So if you're concerned about that, I would suggest if you're on the iOS 13 beta, do update to iOS 13 beta 4 so you can get that security patch. In the Photos app, when you're going ahead and share an image, the icons are a lot wider. The share sheet has a translucent background. And there's a new animation whenever you share an image. In iPadOS on the edit page, the icon is now round. Small change, but okay. So those are all the features that I could find. I'm sure there are a lot more features in iOS 13 beta 4. If we're talking about performance, it does feel a lot faster. It's a lot smoother. So if that's something that you're concerned about, I wouldn't worry too much when updating to iOS 13 beta 4. It's a lot less buggy. If you're a voiceover user, voiceover crashes a lot less often. Apps crash a lot less often. You won't be disappointed when you update to iOS 13 beta 4. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know with a like or dislike. If you guys want to see more content concerning everything Apple, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for all things Apple. And I will see you guys in my next video. I've been Tian Official. I'll see you guys next time.